Welcome travellers. Today we're going to take a look at five disturbing videos that shaped us. Now we're only going to be looking at videos that are on YouTube. So no two girls one cup or one man one jar. I won't be able to show the main parts of most of these videos due to YouTube restrictions. But I'll leave the link to the videos in the description. So buckle in as we are going to re-enter the nostalgia train. It wasn't until a couple of years ago actually, when watching Speed react to it, that I saw Happy Tree Friends for the first time. The gore is so fucking unnecessary but brutally artistic that I just have to give credit to Mondo Media. It was the first child friendly animation that turned out to be for adults. And the fact they've been consistently making Happy Tree Friends content for the last 17 years is crazy. It's older than some of my friends. It's an icon in the YouTube landscape and has one of the most catchiest theme songs. <laughs> the only reason it isn't higher on the list is because it is more of a TV series than an individual video, but nevertheless, it's got the number one spot for its reputation. Now, I was staying over at my neighbor's one afternoon and he showed me this video and it was the first time I ever saw gore. I didn't sleep for nights on end and it scarred me for months. The video portrays a young man doing the Bloody Mary challenge, but instead of saying Bloody Mary, he says Ronald McDonald. This is what then causes Ronald McDonald to appear at the playground. He then gets into a fight with the kids and then all hell breaks loose. He goes into a bloody massacre, ripping the kids to shreds. The creators of this video, Raka Raka, you can find it on their channel that they've been making these type of videos now for years on end. And this video only encouraged their cinematography views. And the star character, Ronald McDonald, pioneered them to start a fast food company, which we now call McDonald's. They also recently released a movie called Talk To Me, which in one of my shorts, I put as ninth as my favorite movie of all time. I'd go check it out. Anyway, back to the video. It was a decent story, crazy realistic gore, and I can't believe he does this with kids. The first time I saw this, it came up on my recommended. Now that I think about it, that's pretty concerning, but it sort of makes sense after obsessing over Raka Raka. This video changed my view on My Little Pony forever, as I resented even looking at Pinkie Pie when it was playing in the background. The video basically just shows a psychotic Pinkie Pie dismembering and dissecting Rainbow Dash, and then eventually taxidermies her. First time watching it, the gore was insane and I kept on looking away and gagging, but after recently re-watching it for the purposes of this video, it's really not that bad. But guaranteed, if you showed this to a 10 year old, he'd be crying. Not much is actually known about this video, and there are a lot of people posting their theories on the backstory of this video. And actually, the original version of this video is no longer on YouTube. I had to get this from some other guy that was only posted a couple years ago. The video just shows an unnerving robot singing a song, I Feel Fantastic. There's not much else to it besides that. I remember ages ago seeing a theory about how there was a dead body during one of the scenes in the video where he shows the backyard. I'm not very educated on the backstory of it, so I'm not going to pretend I do. But this is one of the only things on the internet that truly creeps me out. Not like I'm afraid of this video. It's just that it makes me very uncomfortable. And it's just eerie. The only thing that creeps me out fully is Momo. And we're not going to talk about her. Shrek is love, I say. Shrek is life. Now this probably isn't the video you're expecting. But it really shouldn't surprise you either. The video depicts a fan that is obsessed with Shrek get into an argument with his dad until Shrek enters his room and then, well, this happens. <coughs> then the dad walks in on them and Shrek leaves through the window. And then it finishes with a quote. The first time I watched this video, I was actually truly disturbed just because I didn't know what sex was at the time and I imagined my I can feel my butt tearing. And so after that, I used to go to sleep praying that it never happened to me. But you know, I've watched it a hundred times since, and now I just find it so idiotically funny. So that was my personal five disturbing videos that made us. I could do more of these in the future. If you guys want me to, just put it in the comments down below. But that was about it for me. I hope you enjoyed my little rant. That's about it. See ya.
Why didn't you believe me? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy.